Ghost of the Towers, the Grange, the Court. Ghost of the Castle Keep. Ghost of the finicking high life sort. I'm growing a trifle cheap. But here is a spook of another stamp. No thin theatrical sham. But a specter who fears not dirt nor damp. He rides on a London tram. By the curious glance of a mortal eye he is not seen. He's heard. His steps go a-creeping, creeping by. He speaks but a single word. You may hear his feet. You may hear them plain. For it's odd in a ghost. They crunch. You may hear the whir of his rattling chain and the ting of his ringing punch. The gathering shadows of night fall fast. The lamps in the street are lit. To the roof have the eerie footsteps passed where the outside passengers sit. To the passenger's side as the specter paced. For a moment he halts they say. Then a ring from the punch at the unseen waist, and the footsteps pass away. That is the tale of the haunted car. And if on that car you ride, you won't, believe me, have journeyed far ere the specter seeks your side. Aye. All unseen by your seat he'll stand. And, unless it's a wig, your hair will rise at the touch of his icy hand and the sound of his whispered, Fair! At the end of the trip, when you're getting down, and you'll probably simply fly, just give the conductor half a crown. Ask who is the ghost and why, and the man will explain with bated breath and point your moral thus. He's a poor young bloke what was crushed to death by people as fought as they didn't ought for seats on a crowded bus. <laughs> 